welcome back to my channel today i am back with the same chapter that is methods of central tendency and with the most important topic that is mode so today in this video i will tell you how to find mode using grouping table method this method is very important so please understand carefully so let us start so as you can see the problem is already written on the board so we will start with the solution now so as you can see marks is given in the continuous series interval 0 to 10 10 to 20 and last one is 60 to 70 and number of students is given as you know when uh, the class intervals are given this column is the frequency column right okay so as i told you that today we will start with grouping table method so before i start with this method i will tell you that in this uh, method we have to generate two tables the first table which we have to generate is grouping table and then we will move to the second table which is known as analysis table and for grouping table we need to make six columns right we have six columns banane padenge now the column number one will be the frequency column only right so this column is known as c1 okay i repeat the frequency column is the column number one now column number two column number three column number four column number five and column number six <clears throat> Now, as I told you that the column number 1 will be the frequency column. How to generate column number 2? What you have to do is, you can write in front of this also that take 2 at a time. No need to do, uh, write this in the exam. This is just for your understanding only. Take 2 at a time. Take 2 at a time means, what you have to do is, take 2 at a time. You have to add these two values. 13 plus 5. That is 18. Next. Take the next two. The next two will be. It will be 58. Then take the next two. The next two will be 55. Now please see. The last one doesn't have any other member to get paired. So we will leave the last value as it. So these three values will be there in column number 2. So now move to column number 3. In column number 3, we have to leave first and take the next 2. So we have to omit 5 and take the next 2. That is 13 plus 21. Next 37 plus 31. And next last one is 24 plus 3. So 13 plus 21 that is 34. Next one is 37 plus 31 that is 68. And then 24 plus 3 that is 28. 27. Right? Now next column number 4. In column number 4 you have to take 3 at a time. This is just for your reference only. Take 3 at a time. From the starting, take 3. That is 5, 13, 21. Then take next 3. That is 37, 31 and 24. Now add 5, 13 and 21. You will get 9. And 3, 39. Next, 37, 31 and 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 7, 5, 2. 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. That is 92. Right? So, we have generated up to column number 4. Now, column number 5. In column number 5, what you have to do is leave first and take next 3. So, column number 
नंबर फाइव के लिए हमें स्टार्टिंग से फर्स्ट वाला छोड़ देना है एंड देन कीप ऑन टेकिंग द नेक्स्ट थ्री सो वी विल लीव फाइव एंड देन टेक द नेक्स्ट थ्री डेट इज थर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन एंड थर्टी सेवन सो वी विल ड्रॉ द लाइन्स वेरी केयरफुली थर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी सेवन एंड देन द नेक्स्ट थ्री डेट इज थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड थ्री सो एड एड दिस वैल्यूज सेवन प्लस थ्री टेन टेन प्लस वन इलेवन टू टू फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन दैट इज सेवेंटी वन नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड इट इज सिक्स फाइव राइट सो कॉलम नंबर फाइव नाउ मूव टू लास्ट कॉलम दैट इज कॉलम नंबर सिक्स सिक्स दैट इज लीव फर्स्ट टू एंड टेक नेक्स्ट थ्री वेरी इजी अब क्या करना है फर्स्ट टू छोड़ देनी है और नेक्स्ट थ्री ले लेनी है राइट सो लीव फर्स्ट टू दैट इज लीव फाइव एंड थर्टी एंड देन टेक नेक्स्ट थ्री दैट इज ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी फोर थर्टी सेवन एंड थर्टी वन एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विथ ओनली टू आइटम सो दीज टू विल बी एक्सक्लूडेड इन द लास्ट कॉलम सो ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी सेवन एंड थर्टी वन नीड टू बी एडिड नाउ सो ड्रॉ द लाइन्स केयरफुली ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी सेवन थर्टी वन सो एड दीज सेवन प्लस वन एट एट प्लस वन नाइन एंड थ्री थ्री सिक्स सेवन एट एटी नाइन सो इन दिस वे वी हैव जनरेटेड कॉलम नंबर सिक्स नाउ दिस वॉज आर फर्स्ट स्टेप टू जनरेट द सिक्स कॉलम्स एंड दिस इज द ग्रुपिंग टेबल बट इट इज नॉट फिनिश्ड ये वी हैव टू डू वन स्मॉल स्टेप मोर दैट इज इन एवरी कॉलम सर्कल द हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी सो इन कॉलम नंबर वन विच इज द हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज थर्टी सेवन so circle it next in column number 2 the highest frequency is 58 in column number 3 68 in column number 4 92 in column number 5 71 and last one is 89 so this is the grouping table method so now we will learn how to make the analysis table so now we will learn how to make analysis table so for analysis table we need the help from the grouping table you have to draw marks on one side and c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 on the other side right so what you need to do in this analysis table you have to take the help from the grouping table as you can see above what you can see from here also that in column number 1 which which was the highest frequency it was 37 and it was corresponding to the class interval 30 to 40 so what we have to do is in column number 1 we have to go in the interval 30 to 40 and just put a tick right <clears throat> then in column number 2 <coughs> which is the highest frequency it is 58 and it is corresponding to as you can see from the table it was corresponding to 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 so go and in column number 2 put one tick in front of 20 to 30 and put another tick in front of 30 to 40 right on the similar grounds the next in column number 3 the highest frequency is 68 corresponding to 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 so in column number 3 put one tick in front of 30 to 40 and another tick in front of 40 to 50 right next 92 92 in column number 4 was the highest frequency but it was corresponding to 30 to 40 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 so you know how what we have to do in column number 4 we have to put a tick in front of 30 to 40 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 Next in column number five, the highest frequency was seventy one, corresponding to ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, and thirty to forty. So in column number five, you have to put a tick in front of ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, and thirty to forty. Next in the last column, the highest frequency was ninety two, which was corresponding to twenty to thirty. 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 so in column number 6 we have to put a tick in front of 
ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थर्टी टू फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी सो और नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू मेक अ टोटल एज यू कैन सी आई है टोटल ओवर इयर सो डू द कॉलम होरिजोटली इन जीरो टू टेन देर इज नो सो लीव इट इन टेन टू ट्वेंटी हाउ मेनी टेक्स आर देयर इन टेन टू ट्वेंटी देर इज ओनली वन टेक सो टोटल इज वन इन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी हाउ मेनी टेक्स वन टू एंड थ्री सो टोटल इज थ्री इन थर्टी टू फोर्टी हाउ मेनी टेक्स आर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो टोटल इज सिक्स नेक्स्ट फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री टिक्स आर देयर एंड लास्ट वन इज राइट नाउ यू नीड टू सर्कल द हाइएस्ट टोटल द हाइएस्ट टोटल इज सिक्स एंड इट इज कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू विच क्लास इंटरवल इट इज कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू थर्टी टू फोर्टी एंड दिस क्लास इंटरवल इज आर मॉडल क्लास so this was uh this was to be find out to form the mod so now our last part of the sum is to do the calculations by using the formula of the mod in case of continuous series so what is the formula a mod is denoted by a letter capital z and the formula is l plus f1 minus f0 Divided by two f one minus f naught minus f two multiplied by h. So what is m? The lower class of the model class. F one, f naught, f two. How to choose? This is the frequency and this is the model class, right? And the frequency which is coming in the model class will be given the name as f. One and the frequency which is above the model class will be named as f naught, and the frequency which is below the model class will be named as f two. So this is the value of f naught. This is the value of f two. And what is n? What is the lower limit? This is our lower limit. That is thirty. And what is h? H is the difference between the class intervals. And what is the difference between the class intervals? It is ten. So you have now all the values put the in the value put in the formula. What is l? It is thirty plus what is f one? F one is thirty seven minus f naught that is twenty one divided by two f one. What is f one? Thirty seven. Minus f naught. What is f naught? Twenty one minus f two. That is thirty one multiplied by h. That is ten. So when you will solve, when you will do the calculations, you will get the answer as thirty seven point two one. So as I told you, I always request. to always put your answer in the box and there is one more trick for you to learn the formula how we learn the formula is f1 minus f0 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 how we learn tell 102 you can keep in mind like this tell 102 right so this was the case of finding the more in case of continuous series using the grouping table method so i hope in this video you will learn the more using grouping table method so please do share your feedback and we will come soon with the next video thank you